On September 5, 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, a spacecraft that would ultimately become one of the greatest explorers humanity has ever created. Paired with its twin, Voyager 2, the mission was originally designed to study the outer planets of our solar system. At the time, no one imagined that this small probe, powered by 1970s technology, would still be operating more than four decades later, traveling farther than any human-made object in history. Voyager 1 was built for a mission expected to last just five years. Its primary objectives were modest by today's standards. Fly past Jupiter and Saturn, gather data on their atmospheres, magnetic fields, and moons, and then fade into history. But instead of shutting down, Voyager kept going. And going. And going. As it passed Jupiter, Voyager 1 revealed an active and violent world. It discovered erupting volcanoes on Io, the first active volcanism ever observed beyond Earth. It mapped Jupiter's immense magnetic field and uncovered details about its turbulent atmosphere. At Saturn, it exposed the complexity of the planet's rings and hinted at hidden oceans beneath the icy crusts of moons like Europa and Enceladus. These discoveries reshaped planetary science and laid the foundation for future missions that continue to explore these worlds today. Yet Voyager 1's most important journey had not even begun. After its planetary flybys, Voyager was set on a trajectory that would carry it toward the edge of the Sun's influence. Year after year, it traveled deeper into darkness, passing through regions no spacecraft had ever explored. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed a historic boundary known as the Heliopause, the outermost edge of the heliosphere, where the solar wind gives way to the vast interstellar medium. In that moment, Voyager 1 officially became humanity's first interstellar probe. This crossing was not dramatic or sudden. There was no clear line in space. Instead, scientists observed subtle changes a sharp drop in solar particles, an increase in galactic cosmic rays, and a shift in magnetic conditions. These measurements confirmed that Voyager had entered a completely new environment. For the first time, humanity was directly sampling the space between the stars. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has often spoken about the significance of the Voyager missions, calling them humanity's message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. But in recent discussions, Kaku has pointed to Voyager 1's latest data as something deeply unsettling. According to him, the spacecraft has detected anomalies that challenge our current understanding of interstellar space. Among the most puzzling findings are unusual signals recorded by Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument. These signals do not behave exactly like known plasma oscillations or background cosmic noise. Instead, they appear structured, rhythmic, and persistent over long periods of time. Scientists initially assumed they were caused by shockwaves from solar eruptions propagating into interstellar space. But as more data arrived, the patterns became harder to explain. Some researchers believe these signals may result from interactions between interstellar plasma, magnetic fields, and the heliosphere's moving boundary. Others argue that Voyager the first of may be detecting ripples caused by distant supernova explosions, their energy traveling across light years of space and subtly disturbing the interstellar medium. These ripples suggest that interstellar space is not calm or empty, but dynamic and alive with motion. Operating in interstellar space presents extreme challenges. Voyager 1 endures temperatures near absolute zero, relentless radiation, and communication delays that stretch more than 22 hours round trip. Its power comes from a radioisotope thermoelectric generator that slowly decays over time. To keep the spacecraft alive, NASA engineers have shut down nearly every non-essential system. Instruments have gone dark one by one, sacrificed so others can continue operating just a little longer. And yet, against all odds, Voyager 1 still speaks. 
Its data has revealed that interstellar space contains magnetic fields stronger and more structured than scientists expected. It has detected dense regions of plasma and discovered that the heliopause itself is not a fixed shell, but a breathing, shifting boundary influenced by both solar activity and external interstellar forces. This finding alone overturned decades of assumptions about how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. Some scientists have gone even further, suggesting that Voyager 1's anomalies could be connected to one of the greatest mysteries in modern physics, dark matter. This invisible substance makes up roughly 27% of the universe, shaping galaxies through gravity, yet it has never been directly observed. If Voyager is sensing unexpected gravitational or plasma effects linked to dark matter concentrations, it could provide an entirely new way to study this elusive phenomenon. More speculative ideas have also emerged. A small number of researchers have cautiously raised the possibility that some of Voyager 1's structured signals might not be entirely natural. If advanced extraterrestrial civilizations exist, they may operate on scales far beyond our current imagination. Interstellar space, quiet and vast, could serve as a medium for technologies or structures we do not yet understand. While there is no direct evidence of extraterrestrial influence, Voyager's data has reminded scientists to remain humble about how little we truly know. Beyond its scientific instruments, Voyager 1 carries something profoundly symbolic, the golden record. This gold-plated disc contains sounds of Earth, images of life, music from different cultures, and greetings in dozens of languages. It is not meant for us. It is meant for the universe. Long after Earth has changed beyond recognition, long after human civilizations may have risen and fallen, Voyager 1 will continue drifting, carrying this silent message through the stars. Voyager 1 has also allowed us to hear space itself. By translating plasma wave frequencies into sound, scientists have produced eerie audio recordings that resemble whispers, winds, and distant echoes. These sounds offer a haunting reminder that space is not empty silence, but a medium filled with energy, motion, and invisible forces. Today, Voyager 1 is more than 14 billion miles from Earth and still increasing its distance every second. Even traveling at nearly 38,000 miles per hour, its journey across the galaxy would take tens of thousands of years. Yet its impact has already been immeasurable. Future projects like Breakthrough Starshot aim to send tiny probes to nearby star systems at a fraction of the speed of light. These ambitious concepts build directly on Voyager's legacy. Voyager proved that interstellar exploration is possible. It showed that a small machine, built with care and curiosity, can survive far beyond its expected lifespan and still change how we see the universe. Voyager 1's journey is not just a technological achievement. It is a story about humanity itself. About curiosity, persistence, and the refusal to accept limits. From the outer planets to the edge of the solar system and beyond, Voyager 1 has redefined what exploration means. One day, Voyager 1 will fall silent. Its power will fade. Its voice will disappear into the cosmic background. But its legacy will endure. It has taught us that the universe is far stranger, more dynamic, and more mysterious than we ever imagined. And as it continues its lonely voyage through interstellar space, Voyager 1 remains a quiet reminder that even the smallest creations can leave an eternal mark on the cosmos. What do you think about Voyager 1's impossible discoveries? Do they point toward unknown physics, hidden cosmic structures, or something even more profound? Share your thoughts in the comments, and continue exploring the mysteries of the universe.